Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So today we are going to make this, which is a two sheet sensation. You've heard the heard of the one sheet wonder. This is the two sheet sensation. So I'm going to show you what it is. I'll show you the pockets in a minute, but I'll show you what it is when we open it up. So this opens up like this, and it's got lots of things. This is a little concertina file, accordion file, whatever you call it. Um, and close it all up, and then you've got some more space on the back. So I will show you this. So like, let's go through this, and what you get is you'll get one, two, three, oh, there you go, four, five, these might not be in order, six, <clears throat> seven, eight, oh, that's 23, <laughs> eight, um, ten, there's a nine somewhere, that's a 16, <laughs> sorry, I had to pause because I had to cough, um, so, uh, well, anyway, so, there's a nine some, somewhere, there's a ten, um, goodness only knows, there you go, nine, 10. <laughs> um, we know that's not that. Um, is it here? 11. Uh, where's 12? That's 13. Um, that's 15. 12. 13. <laughs> this is the worst game ever. 13. Uh, thir where's 14? No, it's 17. <laughs> this 14? 14. There you go. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. Okay, let's just fold it. Oh, there you go. 23. Twenty-four pockets on it. So this is the reason why it's a two-sheet wonder is because you use a whole a whole sheet to make the outer and then a whole sheet to make the pockets. So we'll do that together. So I'm going to put these over to one side. Okay. So what you're going to need is two sheets of card, both same size, either twelve by twelve inches or thirty by thirty centimeters. It's the similar, but not quite the same. But anyway, what we're going to do is, we're, so this is going to be my pockets and this is going to be my structure. So what we're going to do is going to take this and you're going to have it so that the top and the bottom are in the, those places, at the top and at the bottom to start with, so that we can get the right orientation of the paper. And then you're going to look for your scoreboard because somebody's moved it. Brian's been in here putting shelves up, so... Um, have the inches side Dave okay so now with it in that orientation top and bottom what you're going to do is you are going to score it as such you're going to score it at three and a half first yep you're going to score it at four you're going to score it at eight check that yep eight and then you're going to score it at eight and a half Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it 90 degrees. Okay, and now your bottom should be to the left hand side. Okay, if you're um, right handed, if you're left handed, it, you want it to be the other side. So, and then you're going to score it at three, and then you're going to score it at seven and a half. Okay, take it off your, you don't need your scoring mat now scoring board I mean um, and then you're just going to fold in all of those folds so you've got two that are next to each other so um, because they are your gussets so you can absolutely pack this full okay so 
the space where you've got the smaller fold is your bottom bit and what you want to do is you want to take it and cut up these lines now I'm not gonna you don't need to draw it I'm just doing it so that you can see so you want to cut these lines to this middle line let's just put some lines in so you can see what I'm doing to here you don't want to cut all the way up and then you're going to do the same coming down to here and you're going to stop at that cross score okay and when you're cutting them you want to cut the actual fold bit off and then that way doesn't it doesn't get in the way of the fold itself so what i do is i just go through and i do all the cuts up and then i cut across i'm just going to cut all of these okay so you can either cut them now or i'll show you a, another way to do it i'm just going to do the same again cutting these up to that cut line like that now i don't normally make two prototypes as you'll see i have two prototypes and the reason why i've got two prototypes is i've i've already filmed this once um and my wire was in the way so i've had to abandon it and start again so once i've done those what i do is i no it's definitely easier for you to see it this way so what i do i just just put my ruler up to that crease so you can feel it if you push your ruler down on it it'll stop kind of at that crease and you know you're in the right place and then i'm just going to cut that off with my blade and then those will just come off there you go and we will do the same on this side you just want to cut those gussets out okay so don't get rid of them because you will use them again so we are going to try and use be frugal and use as much as we can so now what you'll have is you'll have this that folds up this that folds up this that folds up this folds down this folds down and this folds down you just want to make sure that you've cut on you see i haven't quite cut this this crease off here you can just see i don't know if you can just see that the little line there and i just want to cut that off otherwise that will just get in the way of all the mechanism and you'll end up with it catching every time you try and fold it up so they all fold in first those fold and it's actually that way up these fold in and these fold in so that's our outer simple okay simple pimple and then what we're going to do is we're going to make the panels so <clears throat> what you need to do is the measurement for this top bit is I'll just do it and just show you that it is it's actually four and a half okay so we don't want the panel the anything we put on the panel to be exactly the same because we want to be able to see the paper around it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter okay so I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. Cutter. And you can just cut a whole strip at four and a quarter now. All the way across. So four and a quarter. There. Okay, because all of those panels here, all of these ones, are all the same height. They're not the same width. The two outer ones are the same width. The inner one is a slightly different one, but we'll come to that cutting down in a second. So I've cut that. So we're just going to keep coming back to those bits. We're going to do a bit at a time. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to cut a, um, a, a pocket. So let's close this back up again. So starting on the outside, you want a panel that is about halfway across the, the front panel. So if you look at the front panel, that's three and a half, okay? So half of three is one, and half of one, uh, half of half is, no, half of three is not one, Dave. Half of that is one, is one and a half. 
I'm sorry, I'm still coughing. So, um, so half of three is one and a half, and half of half is a quarter. So it's one and three quarters. So we're going to cut the piece off at one and three quarters. I do normally have a little guillotine, but I don't know where that is. So we're going to do one and three quarters. And that's going to be our one of our front pockets, okay? So then when you open it up, the next one is also the same size, one and three quarters. So that's going to be this one that sits on this panel, okay? And we'll come to that one in a second. So let's get these on. And what I do is I'm just going to take a thumb notch out of these as we go. He says he's going to do such things, but it's really a case of whether he can find the things to do it with. Mm. Somewhere in here, I have. I'm going to have to do it. Use a bigger one. So I'll just use a bigger one for this. So I'll take a thumb notch out of there, and a thumb notch out of here. Now, I'm not going to bother inking because this is kind of a demo for you. So we're just going to show you how to make it, to make the whole thing. So what I did do is I rounded the corners. So rounded the back corners. So the ones opposite the thumb notch. And then I just put glue down around those edges. No, I didn't because the glue didn't come out, Dave. Try again, do that again. Yeah, there we go. I think I found the culprit that was that little bit there. It's the culprit that was blocking it. So, that like that. On there. Ooh, you can put yours on straight. I can try. So that's going to go on there. I'm going to open it up and we're going to methodically work our way through making all the various bits and bobs. Now, they don't necessarily have to be exactly the same as the way that I've done them. What you're using the second sheet for is to make all of the various pockets. Now, depending on how you cut it, depends on how many pockets you'll get out of it. So, pockets and tucks. So, they're not just pockets, they're tucks as well. <coughs> okay, so let's open it up now. So, what we have now is we're going to do these three panels across here okay so we've got this one this one and this one okay so this is measured at again the same three and a quarter okay so we're going to cut a three and a quarter panel and a quarter okay and this time we're going to cut this piece in half so we know it's roughly four and a quarter isn't it so it doesn't have to be perfectly in half you'll see, notice that these two pockets aren't perfectly in half but that's what we're going to use them for okay so i'm going to go with two and a bit two and an eighth i guess that is half okay and then we're going to take these I'm going to take a thumb notch. Oh, I did cut it in half. Isn't that, isn't that great, Dave? Well, almost in half. And a thumb notch out of the top. Maybe not two together, Dave. Oh, it nearly did. Go on. Go on. Be good to me. Is that one going to come out? Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. Fine. Okay. So... I left these square, you can cut them rounded. Let's cut them rounded actually this time. So this is gonna be like a, a nice quick make. This is be bearing in mind that I'm not rounding all of the corners and um, inking everything that I possibly could do. Okay, so this panel is gonna go on here. And this 
one's going to go on here. And you can put these in different orders. That I'm not saying you have to do it like this. I'm just giving you ideas of how to use that second piece of card that you have. So that's going on there. Okay. So we have a panel here that is wider. Okay. So let's get the measurement of that. There it is. The rule of the one that we're looking for. So it's four inches wide this bit okay so i cut it at i actually cut it at three and a half okay this this panel here is three and a half so we're going to cut that three and a half wide <coughs> not that one dave this one the piece that we've got left that we've already cut at the right height i'm going to cut it at three and a half And you'll have this bit left okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down okay so we're just going to cut like an inch inch and a half off the top depending on how deep you want your pocket so we'll go for we'll get actually go an inch and a quarter off this one so keep these pieces that you're cutting off because they all become other pockets okay so just gonna snip these corners snip the top and then we're going to go all the way around so again like i say this is a, not a one sheet wonder because it's a two sheet because you can't get the you won't get these pockets out of the one sheet so i'm going to go on there okay and you'll see that i've got this small piece and you're thinking well what can I do with that well actually this small piece I use to make these now I've got a there's another one in here that's the reason why I'm opening it up I've got a um, whale tail punch that you put in like so and you do the other one and if you if you're careful you'll get two out of this I just have to guide it in place and try and hold it with the waste like that that's some waste so we're not going to use that we could if you wanted to in fact actually you'll notice on this one this is the one i made on camera i actually used that shape that i cut out of a panel and used that as a pocket so this is a pocket too um it's just it's a shaped one so like that so you can you can definitely use it there's nothing to stop you as i did <clears throat> so i'm going to use this but because it's the same color contrast what i'm going to do is rather than inking the back because i don't have any coloration on the back what i'm just going to do is i'm going to just ink this a just a slightly different color probably use this green that's not green suitable dave that's green suitable and we're going to go over this one and make it a bit greeny and that way then it'll be just a bit of a contrast to it so you see it'll stick out now and we're just going to glue a bit down the bottom because all you're going to do is you're making it a little tuck I'm going to pop that in there a little bit of glue on there I don't know why where that came from and that's going to be a, a little tuck so we've made these pockets now we can start opening it up I'm going to have to cough again so you're going to just have to excuse me okay so we're going to keep that piece so remember you're going to keep all the pieces that we take off so don't don't just immediately discard them these little pieces you can discard that's fine but don't discard everything just yet <clears throat> seems to be when I'm projecting my voice that I cough more so this piece sorry this is a panel first so this piece again is cut in the same sort of way okay so we're going to cut it so that it's the right height so the right height is four and a quarter so we're going to take this piece that we've we've got put that around the right way a bit 
down and we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. Take that off. So this is the piece now we're going to start cutting down into its smaller components. I don't know why I put that over there because I actually need it in a second. So again, this is exactly the same size as it was on the outside. So we're going to cut this down to three and a quarter. Now I cut that slightly too wide this time, uh, last time, sorry. Um, but this time I'm going to cut it right. So we're going to cut it at three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. And you'll notice there's another panel just there that's exactly the same. So we'll do that now. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Okay. So these two panels, these are going to be here and here. Okay, so we're just going to round these corners and just sniff them all out. I would try doing the two together, but I know that it just makes it really hard for me to clip the... This isn't strong enough for me to do two sheets of card because it's a bit thicker than this card actually so so this one we're going to take a thumb notch out of that's the right way up isn't it thumb notch out of this side <clears throat> so that we know that there's actually a pocket there and that's going to go on there and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it sorry we're going to stick it so that it sticks around the three sides you could cut it the other way round so that you had it with the, the pocket facing out if you want to. If you want it to be a left-handed pocket, that's fine. Do what you like. It's yours. I'm just here for the suggestions. So, all the way round. And pop this down onto here. Cool. Okay. So you see there's a, there's a panel on here. That's actually made out of some of this waste. Okay, but what we'll do is we'll come back to that. So we'll do this for these first, and then we'll come back and put these extra things on. This one has actually got a panel built into it. So it's got like a band built in it. I know people call it a belly band, but I really don't like the word belly. So I'm not going to call it a belly band. And all I did for this is I'll show you. So there was no measuring involved on this one. I took my ruler. Okay, so two rulers actually I used the smaller ruler for top and bottom I'll show you this I'm doing it on the back so that's where you would be doing it anyway so you're going to draw a line turn it round do a line at the top okay then I took my ruler and I did a line using the width of the ruler down one side and then the width of the, the ruler down the other side and the bit that's left in the middle is the bit you're going to cut. So that's going to go down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this line and this line. The rest of it we're going to leave. Okay, so <clears throat> just cut up to the... Let me just show you. Let's just do the cut and you can see what I'm doing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm not going to cut all the way down, otherwise I'll just slice it all off. So I'm going to cut from this first crosshair down to this this crosshair we're going to do exactly the same again I'm going to do the same on this side from this first crosshair crosshair down to this crosshair and that makes you this little band like built-in band so it just adds a bit of, a bit of something to it and all I do is I just give it a bit of a wiggle put my finger through it and that kind of pre then presents itself better it stretches the paper fiber just enough so that it presents itself and then what you're going to do is you're going to glue all the way down this side so we're going to glue just to give it strength that's what my dad used to say give me strength all the way down this side up to that slice And then we're going to do a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. But I don't go right up to the line. And that just gives it a little bit of stretch and give in it when you're trying to put something behind it. I'm going to pop that on there. Okay. 
There we go. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to do these next pockets down here. So, these are nice small pockets, and this is where you start using some of your smaller stuff because I know you've still got quite a bit of um, cardboard left, but like we will we'll come to that in a minute. So, this one, sorry. Where's my ruler? I've just had that. The little ruler I'm looking for. There. <coughs> so remember that these are three and a quarter wide. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this at three and a quarter wide. Okay, have to ask that out for three and a quarter because your quarter is just on this part. Okay, three and a quarter. And you've got this bit. Again, keep it. It will become something. So actually, you'll see it here, it's that. So, then we're going to take this and we're going to take a thumb notch out of this. Now, I just want to check that I'm recording. The amount of times I've started it, something today and it's not been recording is like getting a little bit frustrating. So, <laughs> I think it's because I'm, I've lost my marbles. I don't think I ever had my marbles to be fair. Um, so again, just going to go around three sides. So I can't normally get my glue out, and now it's overflowing. My cup is overflowing. My cup runneth over. Okay, so this one, the way I made this is I just took some little divots just out of either side. I don't have the smaller one that I used for this. Um, but I'll do it with this. I literally just pop it, popped it in like that, snipped it out, and you get like an hourglass shape that way. Like that. And then that's going to be this bit on the front of here. So we're just going to do a line top and bottom. But you, honestly, you can do whatever you like. I'm just giving you suggestions, some ideas. And again, I'm just going to pinch it so that it presents itself. There we go. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is going to make this bit in here, which is the accordion bit. So, I'm just going to show you my accordion way for making these. I know some of you have seen me make it um, before, but I'm going to do it again anyway those people that haven't so I don't use a straight linear piece for an accordion I use a circle so I'm gonna make it from make it with a circle so what we need to do sorry we just need to we don't want our accordion piece to be the, the full size of this so what we want it to be is about two and a quarter sorry two and three quarter inches which is seven centimeters and the reason why i'm saying the seven centimeters thing is my circle cutter is in centimeters and not in inches so that's the reason why i needed to know how big so what i'm going to do is i'd slide this over to the seven centimeters bit and i'll lock it into place and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a bit of an old book page pop it is that right? going to be right that's not seven centimeters though. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's why. We don't want it seven centimeters. We need it to be double that though. Seven centimeters is half a half a bit. So fourteen. That's why. So it's seven centimeters high. So you, we want the circle to be fourteen centimeters high, or the equivalent of would be five and a quarter, I think inches so there you go 14 centimeters we're going to pop this on here kind of just make sure you're not going to hang over the page in any way doesn't have to be you're not really going to see it it's just a bit more interesting if it's book page rather than just plain paper but what you don't want it to be is you don't want it to be cardboard because you won't get the flexibility from it I think the blade on this knee is changing to be fair yeah it does because it's dragging I 
And the reason I make it from a circle, because you, you might be thinking, well, why? what's the need to change it? Why did you need to change it, Dave? Well, you're just doing it just to be different. Well, actually, now I think it gives you a bit more flexibility. If you just make a concertina from a straight piece, from a, just a linear piece, you end up with a lot of bulk in this corner to be able to get it to open so wide. So that's the reason why I use a circle. And then what you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half. You're going to cut it in half. You can move that out of the way because you're going to harpoon yourself on that day. I'm just going to go up to this line here. Find the halfway, sorry. There's the halfway line. Cut it in half, and then what I do is I just fold it in half. Fold it in half again, that's where you're meeting this folded piece to the cut pieces. You want to make sure that this, these creases are nicely in, but don't tear the paper because that's, that's the part that you're going to be utilising. And then fold it again. And then we're going to fold it again. And these are going to be your concertina gusset. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Um, I know it's not concertina yet, but we'll come back to it in a minute. So fold it in half. In half. In half and in half again. Okay, so don't worry about the very tip because what you're going to do is you're going to put these two together. So they're the same size. And you're going to cut the tip off because actually the tip just gets in the way. Like that. And the tip, cut the tip off. And then you're going to open these back out again. And then you're going to concertina them now this time. We're going to go. We, actually, we don't want it to open that wide, Dave. You, you idiot! You, you meant to, I meant to tell you to. You don't need to do two, Dave. You idiot! Sorry, Dave's telling you to be. Don't do like Dave, basically. So you only want a quarter of a circle. And then you're going to just fold these back and on, in and out on themselves. And then you'll get a really nicely expanding piece. Yeah, so we're going to do the same on this one. Just again, just turn it from where it's some of the folds fold in on themselves. You want to, want to go forward and back, forward and back. There we go, just like that. put that piece to one side and use that for the next one that we make okay so then we've got these and what you'll find is they they both sit with the the cut open edges pointing the same direction so they're the pieces that you're going to be gluing in okay so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to this front flap because that'll give me the placing but I'm not going to put glue on the back piece yet because we haven't put any we haven't made any pieces to go in it yet so I'm going to pop this on here you just want it to be like 16th of an inch. Oh, Dave. A bit lower, Dave. You want it to be like a 16th of an inch or a millimetre in from the edge. You just want to push that down. And again, just glue this one. A 16th of an inch from the edge. Similar sort of height. And then just glue that down. Okay, so they're going to be your gussets for the pocket, for the, sorry, the concertina there. So let's come back to this and we'll look at what we've got here. So, <clears throat> this panel, although it looks like it goes all the way down, it doesn't. You'll see it stops at the back, and that's what we're going to make next. So, 
Here's another one that's of this width, which is um, the four and a quarter width. You just want to make sure that it'll sit nicely within that panel. So we'll come to this. We'll do four and we're going to do just four and a sixteenth. Okay, again, keep that. You know, you're going to need these pieces that you cut off. Oh, sorry. And then, Dave, you've just made it. How have you just made that that big? No, it's three and a sixteenth, Dave. That's why. Don't worry, you won't cut yours wrong. Three and a sixteenth, not four and a sixteenth. Don't do like Dave. That's right now. I was thinking that looked terribly big. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down so that it sits just within this pocket, but not loads of it. Uh, so we're going to do two inches. Cut that at two inches. And that should sit kind of in there. And that will just be the back bit. Okay, again, I think I've managed to cut that the wrong way around, but never mind. Um, we're just going to cut this. Sorry, we're just going to stick this. This is going to be the backing card. For in here. Yeah, for some reason I managed to cut that short this time around as well. So, what on earth am I doing, Dave? Four. That's, that's why it's not supposed to be three and a quarter it's supposed to be three and a half Dave so but never mind so it's going to sit like that anyway and then what you're going to do is you're going to make your panels here so we've got one here that we can use so, although we could if we cut it the right width Dave I'm going to use this instead you won't have to because you'll have done it right when I start getting very confused. So what you want to do is when you're cutting these panels, you just want to make sure that wherever you've stuck these down, that whatever you stick sits within them. Now they don't have to be right up to the edge. They just need to have been be able to be glued onto these tabs at the top bit. It doesn't need to be the bottom bit, just the top bit. So we need to make sure that we whatever we cut, we cut to three and a half wide Dave. <laughs> Good luck with that, Dave. Three and a half wide. Three and a half wide. And I'm just going to cut these down, this down to sort of half, in half. But you don't need to have a full division because you're not going to see it. All you're doing is you're creating a divider. So we're going to put one in there and then we're going to have another one there and then you're gonna have three divider pockets so let's cut this let's stick this down first so i'm gonna you've got the back piece i'm gonna go in one fold little bit of glue there little bit of glue there and stick these on there we go and then we're gonna do one more fold bit of glue one more fold, bit of glue. And that's your other divider. And then now we can do a little bit of glue just down this back bit, a little bit of glue on this one. And then you're just gonna hold those kind of in place as you flip it over, just so they don't poke out at the sides as you fold it over and glue it down. Then you've got your concertina with your dividers in. Then you're going to come over to these pieces. So let's open this up. <coughs> this panel here is one of these. So this one again is another one that is cut to three and a quarter wide by, um, I think it's four and a half. Quarter, yeah, four and a quarter. So we're gonna go three and a quarter, so by four and a quarter. So let's just make sure that that's three and a quarter. It is. 
and let's make sure that that goes four and a quarter. So this is on this way round, and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this. So again, you've got this hidden kind of pocket that's kind of built into the panel. The way we did that was I took my ruler again, just decide which way up I'm going to have this. I'm going to do it this way. Took my ruler. I didn't bother measuring. I just took this and I cut it straight down on that piece. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do, leave that piece under the ruler for now. I'm going to take a thumb notch out of this. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it back in place. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the smallest, smallest, smallest piece of something sticky. And I think I've got something sticky stuck to my desk here. There's always something sticky hanging around. We've all, we've all got something that's sticky. I'm just going to cut. And you see how this is just the smallest, smallest tab. I'm going to do a tiny piece. And you're thinking, Dave, you're working in microscopic land now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to just marry those back up again put a tiny tab at the top you would literally only want a tiny tiny tab because otherwise it'll get in the way of your pocket so if you come too far down everything will get in the way because you can't take this these tabs off you're using it to hold it together while you glue it but you can't take them off and then you're going to glue all the way around sorry three the three sides of this cut bit and all the way down on this piece, this very narrow piece. Oh, you see my little tab has come off. So then we're going to bring this back into shot and this is going to go on this panel here. Dave, you managed to get that too wide again, Dave. I don't know what is going on with you, your head today. Sorry, you won't have this problem. Yours will have a straight line. <laughs> Mine won't. There you go. On there, like that. So you've got this little hidden pocket with a, like a decorative panel here. Then you've got this piece here. Remember we made this earlier. There's one I made earlier. I'm just going to make that green again like we did before. Get the glue off the side of here. This one, there we go. That's going to go on there. Okay, and then the pieces that you've got left, you can have a pocket here. Okay, so we're going to just make this into a pocket. And around the bottom of this. All the way around the bottom. You can do a straight line. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can do a straighter line than I can. Because I'm rushing. The reason I'm rushing, I'm not rushing. I'm just trying to do it speedily. The reason why I'm doing it speedily is because I've got a lot of things to film. I fell behind because I've been unwell. And now I'm in that point where I want to get caught up again. So again, we're going to cut this panel. Remember, I, I've got panel a panel that's slightly narrower than you will have because I made a mistake. Um, so I'm going to cut this at three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. This is going to form my pocket here. Okay, so mm. I don't know what I'm doing, Dave. Um, where's my other? Oh, <coughs> because I don't have a piece that so there's a piece where I've got two separate pieces and it should have been a whole one. Um, so I don't have the same stuff for that one but it's fine we don't have to have the same i'll just be very honest made a mistake you can too if i can you can because two can 
Yeah, and we all love toucans. You know, they're gorgeous, so. I'll pop that on there. Of course, yours won't have pencil marks on it either, so I've got a pocket on there. Okay, so we're going to make another pocket. So we need a pocket for the front and a pocket for the back. So we're going to have a panel on the front one here. This one, it's a, oh, it's a shame they don't marry up because that would have been perfect for there but they don't. So this is basically that. It's just, it's two that marry up perfectly, but it doesn't. But, you know, that's fine. We can we can make it work, can't we? How big are we doing it, Dave? Three and a quarter. I'll put them both on this guillotine. Go to the three and a quarter. Oh, let's do it the other way up with your, the smaller piece on top, Dave. Three and a quarter. Now I know it looks like you're cutting microscopic pieces off, but you never know where you might use it. Hang on, I can't actually do that. Like that. Three and a quarter. There. Keep your microscopic pieces. This is going to again come together, and what we're going to do is it doesn't quite marry up, but I don't think it's too noticeable. Again, we're going to use the tab method. I'm going to cut a slither tab, a slither of a tab. I see a little slither of a tab. Scalamouche, scalamouche, can you do the fandango? I don't know whether I can do the fandango, to be fair. I can do the mash. The monster masher, oh, Dave. <laughs> Didn't even pick it up. So flip those over, wedge them together. You want to cut a little thumb notch out of this. Pop it back down again. Tiny tab to hold it together. Well, just so that while you're moving it, you get it get them both in the same place. Nope. 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 I never said it wouldn't be fiddly. I just said it'd be worth it. So those are just tabbed together. I'm just going to give them a rub with my nail. Okay. Three sides of the pocket. And all the way over the decorative panel. Pick it up on there. Pop it on. So this is oh. see. This is where my tabs would have worked nicely if they'd worked nicely. Oh well, we got it there in the end. Mine's not straight, but <laughs> it'll do. <laughs> don't laugh okay so then what what we've got is we've got little pieces left now so let's just close this up so we still want a, a thing for here okay so we want a pocket for here oh, sorry a, a, we've got like just a panel here um the reason i put these this orange panel which is completely different to any of the other kits on here is because i uh, actually damaged it. I stuck something down, peeled it off, and I peeled it off, and I pulled the surface of the, the card off. And rather than starting again, I thought you wouldn't mind if I just hit it. So, just going to cut the wonky edges off here and make it more wonky, knowing my cutting skills. Just going to cut the top and bottom off there. Make it a little bit of an interesting top and bottom like that bit of a tab on a tab of glue at the top and at the bottom and then that's going to go on there and that's going to be a tuck like that 
Um, we're going to put another tuck on here, and again, we're going to do the same with a smaller piece this time, and we're just going to again straighten up those edges, make a make it a bit decorative at the top and the bottom. And then a bit of glue, top and bottom. I think it's that way. Oh no, I don't, or is it that way? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a multi-directional one, to be fair. We've got that there. Okay. So if you look at this, it's got another little pocket here, and that's all. All that is is a, just a narrower piece of this. And all I did was I just then used the coordinating side. So I'm just going to cut that down and make it very narrow. That flaming ice cream van back here to drive me insane. Okay. And then, sorry, we just need it to be a little bit shorter than that. Put it to about there. I don't think we'll be keeping that piece, Dave, but you know, you never know. That's, you know, what I'm like. So, again, we're just going to round the edge ends, edgy ends, edgy ends. That. And that. Bit of glue. Top and bottom. Stick that on there. Again. Another piece. So just for now, I want to check. You need, we need something for there, and we need something for the back. Okay, so the back panel there. Okay, so this piece I think we'll use for the back panel. And we'll use that here, which we will. And what I'll do is I'll round the corners this time of this. Bit of glue top and, top and bottom. Stick that on the back. That's going to be our back panel. Flip it over and we want something for here. Now, I have this piece which is not a full width. It's not even a full anything to be fair. Which we could sandwich together if we could remember which way around it went. I don't think it went together, did it? Oh, it did. It went that way. Okay, so we could sandwich that together. We could put a little decorative panel over the front of it to hold it together. And we could have a little pocket, or we could use this piece. But although I don't think that's kind of worthy of anything now. I'm going to use this piece. So let's go put that together. If I hadn't have cut it wrong we wouldn't be in this mess. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. So again just going to cut those wonky lines off. Fully glue the whole thing. then round these corners and glue around there. Should have taken a thumb notch out of it, didn't I? There we go, let's take that on there and that's a little pocket. So, remember, all made from just two, and we still have more here, so I could. Oh dear, Dave, look, you, you don't want to leave now, do you, when you've got stuff left on your desk? You want shrapnel on your desk and nothing else. I don't know what I was cutting there, nothing, air. I was cutting air. 
we could have that on there, couldn't we? Let's do that. So, I don't think I can round the corners of this. I will try. Let me see, I, I, so little faith in myself, and actually, that was, it's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Nobody's told me what that tune is. Diddly, diddly, dee, 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 dee. Bit of top and bottom. Pop that on there. Slightly different, but plenty of places to put things. There we go. So all that made from just two sheets of paper and you can do it and you will also have, well you'll probably have less ways than I have, you will have this and obviously you've got to make all the cards and stuff but you know cards and stuff are the, the things that we want more decorative than just being made out of a sheet of paper. So that's what's left, that can go in the bin and that's your one sheet, well, two sheet sensation. Not a one sheet wonder, a two sheet sensation. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know what you need to do. You need to give this a thumbs up because if you don't give it a thumbs up, I don't know that you've liked it and YouTube definitely doesn't. So um, <clears throat> you wouldn't go to the theatre and not a, and not applaud. So um, give me applause, give by a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Um, Feel free to share it with a friend. Um, feel free to take me out for dinner. Feel free to um, send me a birthday card. I don't know. Just feel free. All right then, folks. You all take care. Love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, folks. Lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of hugs. Arr! And I'll see you soon. Arr! I don't know whether that was a hug or a growl. All right then, take care. Bye.